So here is my second version of my CD wind generator. Now in this particular one, I've added an additional row of discs to this wheel. And uh, today there's a very, very light wind. It's about five kilometers right now. And uh, this thing seems to be uh, moving along pretty nicely. I have a crank sensor hooked up to an LED flashlight. And this crank sensor is off of a General Motors car. And it's got a permanent magnet in it and it's got windings inside of this, uh, of this sensor. And there's two wires hooked up into the, into the crank sensor. I just soldered them right in there. And then there's a wire coming down right to a scavenged LED flashlight and it's even got the power button still on it right there. And you can see that uh, each time one of these little, here I'll stop this wheel so I can show you, but there's a, a, a nut mounted right to the rim and as it passes this crank sensor it creates a, a voltage spike and it sends it off down that wire to the uh, LEDs and it, uh, it illuminates it. But uh, when this is going good in the wind, this uh, LED flashlight is really flashing really good. Now what I did on this particular one is on the last wheel that I did, I couldn't get a really good uh, tight tolerance between the nut and the sensor because um, all bicycle wheels um, have got a slight amount of deviation to them even though they spin perfectly true they're not actually perfect so what I did was I took each of the nuts I put some adhesive on them and then I stuck it to the rim and I moved it towards the sensor and I allowed the magnet on the sensor to draw the the nut towards the magnet and then I left it there for it to um, <clears throat> excuse me for the uh, for the epoxy to cure. And then I did that all the way around the wheel at each one of these nuts. And then at that point I adjusted the crank sensor ever so slightly back so that the nut doesn't touch the sensor. And it sweeps past it and it creates that little bit of voltage each time. And I, uh, when you give this a good spin you can see that the uh, I'm not sure if you can see it too well in this light. Um, I'm going to be doing a shot in the dark very shortly and I'll show you how bright this is at night. But like I say, it does spin quite nicely in the very light breeze that there is today. So here we are in the workshop. Um, the breeze outside hasn't cooperated, so I decided to just do it down in the workshop tonight, and I'll show you uh, what it looks like. So here I've got the uh, LED flashlight right here. There's the crank sensor, and uh, I've got a fan here, and we've got it pointing at the wheel, and I've got a variable resistor that we can control the fan speed with if we want to. And uh, so I'll, I'll give this a spin by hand first, and I'll let you see how well this thing flashes in the, in the light and in, in the dark. So there is a good spin. So let me turn the lights out. So you can see how well that uh, LED flashlight lights up there. So now let's turn the fan on, and we'll... Uh, have a peek at it with it, uh, with the fan going. And you can see even at that slow speed it's already starting to flash. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to point it right at the sensor here in the dark and we'll see kind of a strobe effect of those uh, Reluctor nuts passing the sensor. And 
And you can see each of those uh, nine nuts that I have uh, glued onto the rim, each time it passes that sensor, it flashes and it's giving us a, uh, a strobe effect there. So that's kind of cool. Now let's have a look when the LEDs are pointing at the uh, CDs in the dark. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well guys, I hope you liked this video. If you can, hit the like button below or hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel for more cool videos and we'll see you next time.